Well, it's the day after, it's a moment of truth. I think I've learnt a lot actually with doing that first lot. The next step is to put some fairing on the shower pan base. Well, that's the first layer of the filler. Well, it's the day after, it's a moment of truth. The next day, after my first attempt at such a big lot of fiberglassing, so it's time to peel off that peel ply and see what sort of job it turned out to be. Let's go in there, peel off that peel ply, something I've never done before, and see what it looks like. <laughs> oh man, that's come up all right for a complete novice. That is a good start. Ooh. Right, well that first lot has cured nicely and actually I'm pretty freaking happy with it. And so now it's time to move on to these two vertical bits. I think I've learnt a lot actually with doing that first lot. So I've got the strips cut up. I just need to give a little sand where they're going to meet what I've already done there and then go through the process of just wiping them down with wax and grease remover, mix up some epoxy and roll them in place.
Happy boat builder. Well, now I've got all that taping done in all those corners. The next step is to put some fairing on the shower pan base to give it a bit of fall to the drain hole itself. I won't be putting a lot of build up for the fall because all in all in a boat it's going to be constantly moving on water and so if there is water that might be collecting in an area once the boat moves it'll be directed down to the drain anyway and I've also decided that any water that might be collecting would be easily removed with a squeegee so with a little hook somewhere I'll have a squeegee. It'll be part of the orientation for whoever's going to stay a board mistress that after a shower and if there's water anywhere just squeegee it down the drain. Pretty simple I think. So all I really need to do is give this base here a quick sand just to roughen it up to give a mechanical bond for this epoxy fairing. Give it a clean up and then make a start. Well that's the first layer of the filler giving me a base to work with. I'll now just look at sanding that to get it a lot smoother using a level just to make sure that it's all fair and it's all going to be nice and even all the way around that drain. And then once that's done I'll put a second coat of fairing compound on and then hopefully that's enough then I can fiberglass over the top.
The name of this music track is a day to remember. Getting this result for Mistress's Shower Soul definitely was for me. Then again, I try to remember every day is special, the good and even the not so good. In the next episode, on to the next fiberglassing project and more. Well the next fiberglassing job is the box below the port after catch. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't, click the bell so you get the notifications, check out my website, and as I always say, leave a comment because I like reading what you have to say.